Today, we're gonna to go over some more custom options for products. And this time, we're gonna show you some cool stuff you wanna do. Let's say you have a custom t-shirt making company, and you have, let's say, this blank t-shirt, and you wanted them to give you, uh, well, of course, this particular option isn't blank, but let's say you wanted them, your customers, to give you a text option about what to say on the shirt. Okay, and the front of the shirt is going to have room for one line of text. The back of the shirt is going to have room for many lines of text. So what would your approach be? Personally, I would be going in to use a custom op uh, option for this product. So let's go to our catalog, manage products. And I'm just going to search using the title of this shirt. It doesn't really matter. I'm just using a t-shirt for an example. So I'm just going to find this particular one. And it looks like we have all of them. Uh, I'm going to add this to the configurable product itself. And we're going to add this custom options. And let's add some new options. So we're going to add two new options. The one on the top, we're going to have this be a text field. And this is going to be the front text. So this is going to be the shirt on uh, the text on the front of the shirt. And this is going to be the back text. And we're going to have a text area. And now they don't have to have both of these. In fact, if they have uh, a text area on the back, it's going to add $10 to the shirt. If they have a text on the front of the shirt, it's going to add $5 to the front of the shirt. But neither of these are required. Basically, if they want to type on the shirt, it's going to uh, charge them $5. If they don't want anything on the back, it's not gonna charge them and they're not required. We're gonna have this be first and this is going to be second and that should be good. So let's save these. So once these are saved, I'm gonna come to our product. Let's refresh this. And we have some custom options here. So notice how it says front text plus $5, back text plus $10. But the only thing that's required is your size. I'm gonna buy one at $15, no uh, anything special on it, perfect. But I want some more. So I'm gonna come back to this t-shirt and I'm gonna say I want a shirt with my name on it. I'm gonna have this be all capital letters like that, okay. Um, and let's click add to cart. So you can see, uh, okay, it's made me, okay. But you can see it already added the price. So it's saying $20 here. The moment I started typing in that text field. Okay, so now we now have a shirt that says, Scott is dope on the front of it. So let's add another shirt. And let's have one more, this is gonna be a large one. And this is going to say, uh, level up and then well, let's have the front side level up tuts is totally awesome. And this is all capital uh, cap, capital letters because I want people to shout it when they read it. And it's going to be $30, so 10 plus 5 plus 15. And we're going to add this to our cart. And what's totally cool is that you can see all of these show up in the back end as separate products even. It's not going to say we have uh, three of this t-shirt. It's going to say we have one. We have one that's a medium that has this front text and one that's a large that has this front and back text. Perfect. So that's really cool for a custom shop here. Uh, you can do whatever you want. So let's actually add one more thing to this configurable product. We're not done yet. Uh, so we want... Also, we want uh, them to choose what date uh, they want to pick it up. So if it needs to be like a rush job or something like that, we know. So let's click date. So this is going to be a date uh, and we're just going to say pick up. And this is going to be required. And this is going to be the second or the third option in the list. And to be honest, we don't care when they want to come pick it up. If they pick something unreasonable, um, you know, then we're going to, uh, you know, we're probably going to have to call them and say this is unreasonable. But let's say actually, uh, if they want to specify their pickup date at all, it's going to add a five dollar fee. So uh, rush. This is now going to be rush pickup date. So let's save this. Okay. And now let's refresh the page, or and let's go to our product, I should say. 
Oh, I also made this required. I did not want to do that. So you could see it was even uh, yelling at me because none of those had this, uh, and I said this was required. So let's save this again, and we'll refresh, and everything will be fine. But no biggie. So it's going to say rush pick update. Um, and, you know, we could add some language in here to say, hey, you know, specify your date here. But if you want it to be, let's say today's the, uh, I don't know what today is, it's the 16th or 17th, 17th. We're going to say we want this done by the 20th of this year. And it's going to add an additional $5. And it's going to be medium and okay. So I'm paying to have this picked up early, but I know that because it's telling me. So these are just some more custom options you can have, text areas, dates, uh, drop downs, check boxes, select lists. This, this custom options is really great. It, it's something that is uh, really, really expandable. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this and have some uh, good projects. So I hope this uh, sparks some creativity in your sites and hope to, uh, this inspires you to do something really cool with your stores.